Anderson here and welcome to video four of the five most successful and quickest ways to get your business seen online. Now in this particular video I'm going to be covering a tool called a webwire or a business called a webwire. Webwire is basically a press release site where you can get your news out and create your story very quickly and get literally ranked in Google within 24 hours. I've used this myself and it's a really powerful tool that literally gets you thousands of views very, very quickly. So the idea is to get your word out, whatever it may be, become a celebrity in your niche. Now, not only do you get your press release uh, published online, but your news also gets passed to reporters and publishers. And if it's good enough, they may contact you to want to take that story further. So it's very, very powerful. But it's got to be done in the right way. Uh, if you do it in the wrong way, it'll either get rejected or it'll have zilch effect. So, the idea is it gives organic content to Google. Webwire and Google are very closely interlinked. Google are always looking for fresh, inspirational content. And every day it has to feed its searches with all this content they're looking for. So, Webwire is in bed with Google because Webwire actually provides that for Google does all the hard work for them. People coming on, submitting their press releases, and Google literally indexes Webwire all the time, picking up their information, throwing it out to all the local, sorry, all the, the actual Google news sites out there. And that includes Bing sites, Yahoo sites, Google News, uh, and Google itself. And as we know, Google loves keywords. That's why the first video in this series was all about how to find your keywords. So the idea is scatter the keywords throughout the content, now, if you're doing an offline press release and it's in the newspaper or magazine, the idea is to get the catchiest headline you possibly can. Keywords don't really matter. But on Google, because they're going to publish your press release without changing a thing, you have to have your keywords in your header and you have to have a catchy title also. And also you have to have it throughout your content. So talk about one idea only. So if you're running an event or you've got a new product or you've got a webinar coming up, or you've just got a different slant on things for your business. You have to be a little bit clever and you have to sort of grab the attention of somebody. You might think you've got a boring business, but try and think of some innovative ways of looking at things outside the box and come up with a really good article, maybe 500 words long, split into several paragraphs and um, try just publish it on, on Webwire. So examples could include, and I'm reading them off the board here because I'm not clever enough to remember every word, but new stats reveal how to reduce the risk of chronic heart failure by eating chocolate every day. Now, it's something I made up, so honestly, it's really not true. But you've got the keywords in there. You've got chronic heart failure. Now, if you're somebody who deals with chronic heart failure, you've got a business or a private clinic, that could be a great press release. Obviously, it's, the information's got to be true, of course. So new stats reveal how to reduce the risk of, how to reduce the risk of chronic heart failure. That in itself is probably quite a popular keyword. Another one, new research suggests ways on how to look 10 years younger by eating three certain types of food in the morning. So we've got keywords there, how to look 10 years younger. I bet if you do some research on that, that may, might be a popular keyword. These are only examples to show you how to come up with like um, a different, innovative way of using keywords and getting a catchy title. So always use things like new stats reveal, revolutionary report, um, new research suggests things like that that people think oh this is new i've got to watch it i want to be up with the latest so really good tip there also be aware that you have to be the third person so if you are the business owner you cannot say i said uh, she i said um, it's me you me 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 i you have to say if your name is mr brian smith mr brian smith commented the research suggested uh, in this report, blah, blah, blah. You have to be the third person. You can also include quotes from customers, but remember to keep the, the, the actual press release about 300 to 500 words, scatter the web links throughout, and it costs at this point in time about 35 US dollars. And remember, they publish it exactly as it is. And you can go in afterwards, check the insights, how many have looked, how many have clicked into your links, and it's really powerful stuff. A very, very quick way of getting seen online, I can assure you. So please, I want to welcome you to watch the rest of my videos. If you look at the box below, you'll see a link and you can access the five most successful and quickest ways 
of getting seen your business seen online so please click the link in the box below and you'll get access to those videos so thank you so much for watching Thank <laughs> you.